Hey guys, long time no vlog. Sorry, I've been super busy with everything. We've got graduation announcements going. We've got a whole bunch of different things going. I started working again. And today, as some of you guys may know, I bought my first car. So a lot of pictures on Facebook, Instagram, stuff like that. And I will show you guys a video tour of my new car. Here she is. It's so quiet. There's an AC going, it's hot. Okay, I actually have a visor with like a mirror. That's crazy, but the light, it's so weird. And then it's also got a sunroof. I would open it, but it's hot. Got a nice flat screen. So you can do like your Bluetooth, you can do AM, FM, Bluetooth, and Sirius XM. Your phone, you can call people. You also look at your messages. Oh, I can set it up. I'm not gonna do it right now. Um, Eco shows you like all of your when you're set up. So you can go to like, general, home screen, rearrange that if you want to. Driver vehicle. You can look at the traffic. Also got the weather. Three day, six to twelve hours. You can also have your GPS from your phone, which is pretty cool. So yeah, and look, it's got knobs. That's crazy. My other car did not. So on the steering wheel, we got like the volume and then answer and not answer. Choose the different stations. And then you can speak to it. And then for these, so there's like the lane detection and then the pre collision thingy. And then up here, so it shows you how long until you need to stop and your eco indicator and then miles per gallon. You're listening to lane detection, no messages because the car is perfectly fine. So this is the lane detection alert. Just to make sure, I haven't really, I haven't driven it much. Um, here's the big collision and my clock. We have the little vault thingy so you can charge your phone. Seat warmers in the front, little USB aux cord, which is awesome because other car, I will show you guys. There's not much. Put it in manual if you wanted to. And then it's got like shifters. And then here. That's what Trey told me, but I don't know how to use them. So I'm not gonna do it. It's also sport mode. and Anti skid thingy. But sport mode really gets you from zero to 100 real quick. I really like the vents on these because they're circular and like it's almost 360 degrees. So there you have it, my new car. It's very awesome. And okay guys, now I'm gonna show you the truck what I was driving. Here she is. I'll do a little walk around. And then, no sound. Okay. 
Okay. This is the 2002 Chevy Silverado. So everything's a lot different than my new car. And the console flips up into a third seat in the front, which is awesome for the driving. And this is a radio. There is no knob right here. Only six stations. The CD player doesn't work. Um, here's the dash. Let's turn it on, see how she sounds. Hundred and eighty five thousand miles. Just been through it. Here. Or you charge your phone and stuff. The radio's a lot, it's like really cracky. So yeah, there's a shifter. And then the shooting was really worn. This is 2002, obviously. Let's look in the back. Door. And you have to shut this one before the first door. Oh yeah, and the console's like broken. Straps. And then the visor it should all stay under here. And there's a booster seat that I'm giving to Grace because it doesn't go up and down. And you, as you can see, the gas pedal's really worn down. And it's like touching the floor. Like, that's how much. Here's the brake. It's a little bit different. There's my uh, old car. Music. You do? Yeah. So how does it feel to have a new car? It feels amazing. This looks way better than that Chevy. Good luck, Grace. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's so much power right now. <laughs>